Okay, hello and welcome back. In this episode, I'm gonna create a vector class. And for this, just create a new file and call it vector2.js. There we go. And this is going to be another class, just vector. Ah, we found the um, I still don't know the word for it. <laughs> uh, well, anyways, um, I have a constructor for this class with X and Y. Uh, yeah. And I set the X, well, uh, X value to a, uh, well, I, uh, yeah, I declare basically a member variable X, um, for this class, set it to the given value from the constructor and then we have a lot of methods um, to add um, yeah every vector we can um, normalize every vector so if a vector has a, has a length of I don't know 100 for example and if we normalize it, we get one, um, a length of one. And this, this is really, really, really important. And yeah, I'm just gonna implement that, um, normalize. Um, and for this, I need to implement um, two other methods. Um, but I'm just going to write it down what I need. So we have a length. We need to calculate the length of the vector or of our vector in that class. And we can do this by calling this.length. We will create that method um, shortly after this one. And then to um, normalize the components of it, we just divide the x component of the length and the y component of the length, uh, of the vector, sorry, um, by the length. We're going to divide it by the length. Then, of course, we need to create the method for length. Um, oftentimes, you see it as magnitude. Um, what else? Um, I think there was a, another word for it, but I can't remember. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm not remembering. But uh, length and magnitude, distance is another thing. Is another word for that. Um, basically, the distance of this vector. It's. N I wouldn't call it really correct. Um, for me, it's more like a length of the vector, how long it is, or a magnitude. But yeah, anyways, um, for the length function, just call it length, and we're going to return this one um, by calculating this dot x times this dot x plus this dot y plus this not why. This is how you calculate the length of a vector. Uh, <laughs> it's not how to calculate the length of a vector because you need to uh, add the square root over it, but this is the way to calculate, to calculate the length 2 of a vector. So basically um, that's the squared, the squared length. Of a vector. Um, maybe you ask why do we need that? Um, this is going to be handy when we can avoid, uh, I mean we can avoid to calculate the square root and the square root is usually performance intensive. So for example if you have a distance if you want to compare um, if a circle is intersecting with another circle we don't need the actual length for that. We just need 
the square length and the radius squared of the circles. But we will come to that later. I'm going to show you how we're going to do that because we're going to first implement a, well, some ball physics, you know, some circle physics first. Um, then I'm going to show you how we can do that and how it's going to use. Yeah, that's the length two. And then we can actually call, uh, calculate the length. And the length is, of course, math.square root um, over this dot length too. Um, yeah, you can, of course, copy just this and paste it in this one. Um, it's the same thing. Um, and I forgot, of course, the two here. Um, it's the same thing, yeah. But I just leave it there. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, then uh, we have another important method, and I call it get normal. And the get normal function um, returns a new vector. And now it's the important part. For the x component for this vector, we set it to the y of this class and the minus x value. So what does this do? Um, this function creates a vector which is orthogonal of 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 this vector basically. All right. Um, we are also going to see that later when we calculate the uh, normals. We need to have normals. Normals are vectors which are basically standing off a of a edge, no, um, of a edge of a um, object. We're gonna see it later. Don't worry. Um, this is going to be more clear later on. Okay. Then we have the famous dot function. Um, well, you know, it's it's a requirement to have some knowledge in vector math. I think dot is definitely something I don't need to explain that much. Um, this one just gives a um, well a, a floating point value back, and we are also going to need this, uh, yeah, very often. And yeah, that's basically the dot function. Then we need to have a copy function. That's pretty easy. We just return a new vector. Well, basically a copy of this one. So just take the values of this vector. And there we go. And then probably the basic operations, um, the add function. another vector and then we are going to modify this value this value uh, oops <laughs> the, the, the x value and the y value oh yeah typing and writing at the same time sometimes a bit difficult there we go Okay, and then we have the sub, sub for subtract. You also, of course, um, you can write it complete. Um, I'm going to uh, write it like this because we are going to have some um, some chains. And if you write it too long, it might be a bit too long than the chain of the function calls. <coughs> Okay, so I just give it the vector again, and we are basically subtracting every component. And for the y value two, there we go. And then we have the scale method. So if you have a vector of two, uh, of a distance of two. 
and we want to m um, multiply that or we want to have or we need to have a distance of 10 we just can multiply it by 5 and then um, the vector has its length of 10 basically it's yeah that's very simple and this just has a scalar value as a parameter and then just again this dot x times the scalar value and the same for the y value oops scalar all right okay um then we have a method um the crossword method um i'm not gonna explain it now because this is a bit more complex um it's not really defined for the 2d case but we need it for the collision resolution when we calculate um yeah the impulse for the bodies so we're not gonna use it now but when we're going to add a impulse resolution um, um, then we are need the cross method uh, and we're gonna we are gonna use that then and it's not this weg it's just weg Okay, just let me check if that's right, because um, if you do any typo in here, then um, it, especially in the cross function, if you, for example, do this and then you just don't, um, you know, you just don't <laughs> know why the impulse resolution just doesn't work. It basically, or I mean, you know, it. It will explode basically if you have any typo in there it's gonna be something really really strange happening then then i will add a log function too and that's basically it yeah uh, console log which gives me the coordinates of that vector and Y component, of course. Okay. Okay, that's everything for the vector class. And now, three more methods for uh, three global methods. I'm going to use these methods more than the methods in the vector class. Um, these are just sometimes it's easier to use you know for understanding purposes sometimes it's easier to use this method than this method um like if you have a vector vec like a that add vec like b for example like this um it can be easier to just call like this call it like this you know and that's why i am add this function usually usually too um sadly you can't add a operator uh, how's it called uh, you can't overwrite operators like in c sharp for the plus sign for the minus sign so you so you can like say um vec c is vec a plus vec b for example now that's not possible in JavaScript. Um, it's possible in C Sharp, in C++, and so on. Um, it's sad, but I think the best representation of this operation is this method. And that's why I'm gonna add this function too. And I'm gonna use this method more often than the other methods inside here well the other sub at scale actually uh yeah these three methods i'm go not going to use them that much 
Okay, so for the function add, it's uh, really also very really simple. Just return a new vector, a new vector two, and then we say vec a dot x plus vec b dot x, and the same for the y part plus vec b dot y. All right. Um, yeah, this is almost the same for the sub, for the subtraction. Um, and just replace the plus with a minus. And that's it. And then we have the same for scale. There we go. And, and we don't have, um, don't have a vector, we have a scalar here. Oops, um, no, I just call it scale. Um, and yeah, just vec a dot x times scale and vec a dot y times scale. And now I just would check everything if that's right because as I said if you do any mistake then it's probably going to be harder to find the error um, but it looks pretty good yeah and if you have an error or something you can still go to the github repository um every part well every kind of part is or every result um, of a section is there step by step in a folder and you can just um, take a look at there and compare it if you have any errors but yeah the last thing we need to do is just add this vector class to our main.html and this is pretty easy too we just need to add that script or copy that and say vector to the chairs and that's it i'm just gonna start the script now um we're not going to see any um any difference i just want to see if the canvas is still drawing so save everything refresh and there we go everything works still and that's it awesome okay so then in the next episode um we are going to create a class a util class to draw shapes, you know, draw arrows, even draw text, draw lines, stroke points, and draw points. Um, and yeah, that's it. Um, the more complex part is going to be draw arrow. Draw arrow. Um, this is something where we can try our vector class if everything's right. And it's going to be a little bit hard to understand. Um, actually, you don't really need to add a draw arrow method, but I think it's a good opportunity to try um, our class, our vector class we introduced today or in this episode and see if everything works. And also to understand the methods because we are going to need, for example, the normalize, the length, the sub, the scale, the get normal function. Um, yeah, and that's it. Um, most of the uh, important methods of the vector class. Okay, so that's it. Um, thank you for watching and I hope you see, uh, I see you in the next episode. Have a nice day. Bye.